Hi, my name is John Gibbons, and today we're going to look at uh, sacral torsions, in particular a nutated sacral torsion. So, what we've got then is either a right on a right sacral torsion or a left on a le left sacral torsion. So, already if you're using the word right on right or left on left, it's going to be fixed in a nutated position. Whereas if it was what we call a right on left or a left on right, it means it's in a counter nutated position. So, with a nutation, if for instance you perform the uh, seated forward flexion test and it's positive on the right hand side and let's say you palpate the sacral sulcus here and you notice it's deep on the right side then what it tells you is that the sacrum has rotated to the left all right so it's deep on the right but it's rotated on the left and on the left oblique axis so what that simply means is is that it'll rotate to the left but it will side bend to the right so if you're looking at the sacrum, you'll notice by my son that he has a hyperlordosis, so the sacrum is already going to be in that nutated position. So if I was to perform the test and it was positive on the right and it was deep on the right, then that will tell me that it's a left on left sacral torsion. However, if the forward flexion test is positive on the left, as in the seated forward flexion test, and is deep on the left side, then it tells me it's rotated to the right on the right axis. So that would mean it's a right on a right sacral torsion. In terms of that position there, you can see that because he is lordotic, so the lumbar spine is extended, it means the sacrum is naturally nutated. If you do have a left on a left or a right on a right, then it also means that the lumbar will counter rotate to compensate. So if the sulcus was deep on the right hand side, so the sacrum was rotated to the left, then the lumbar will then rotate to the right. So when you palpate the L5 transverse process, you will feel it is shallow on the right hand side, even though the sacrum has rotated to the left. You can also do what we call a spring test. So if I find L5 and use my Pisces form, my healer hand, and apply pressure on that, then it will spring, indicating that it's in a nutated position. And also what you can do is palpate the actual sacral sulcus and Tom, can you come up onto your elbows if you're reading the book, please? That's it, and just come up, that's it, well, I'll do that. And for instance, if you've got a sacral torsion, as in nutation, then it will actually become level. If it actually is high on one side in this position, it actually tells you there's a counter rotation on the side that's shallow. So that will be a sacral torsion explained.